Welcome back to Bayou Wild. We're out here at White Oak Plantation with Chef John Fultz. We're making a pretty simple dish here with a uh, favorite fish in Louisiana. Uh, well, you know, we're using a speckled trout. We're doing a beautiful salad, and I'm trying to encourage people uh, to start to think out of the box with all of your fish, all of your game, uh, and just kind of elevating it to bring it to the table of company rather than think of it as a camp dish or something that you would just go out on the bike patio. No paper plates fry. here. Yeah, just kind of elevate it because, first of all, it makes people realize just how important a sportsman's paradise right. Louisiana is. It makes them realize that this is a vacation haven to be able to come when it comes to game and fish. And why not then take the bounty of the hunt and bring it home right. and invite friends around the table the way you would if it was Christmas dinner? Because it should be a celebratory uh, uh, experience when you're bringing your game or fish home from the, from the fish or the hunt. Uh, so uh, this dish, again, is going to be one of those that's simple to do because I never want to complicate a dish. I want people to be able to feel that I can do that. Everything they're getting yeah. here, they can find at exactly. the grocery store. Now, you see that golden beet right there? A lot of people uh, won't know that you can go to the store and you can get golden beets. You can get... Uh, the, I didn't know the, they existed. I've you can get the red. red. You can get those that look like a target. I wash these. I put them in foil. Mm -hmm. I put them in a 400-degree oven for an hour, and they come out... I can just wash the skin off of the outside of the golden beet, and it's just like baking a potato, and I just wash the skin off. I don't even have to peel it, and then I cut it, and it, and it just, again, enhances the fish, right? That's and really, beautiful color, too. Yeah, that's really the message is that it enhances the fish. So we have, again, some beautiful speckled trout here, and if you hold that up, I'm going to go ahead and season them, because, again, I like to uh, uh, not only season the fish, but the, the flour as well, and, again, I'm using, a, I'm using a nice sea salt here. You see, you see how thick the grain Very is thick. on that salt? Uh, it's just going to really pop uh, the flavor. You don't need too much. It's just, again, I want people to put things in their mouth when I cook it in and say, wow, what is that? What is that? And I can say, well, that's sea salt. A that's lot of enhancing uh, flavors. Yeah, just, just enhancing flavors. That's exactly right. So then, again, just a little quick flip of the uh, fish. You want to season them on both sides. And, of course, the... Uh, the flour is seasoned as well. Okay. So I'm doing, uh, but I want this, the crystals or that salt on that flesh of the fish. You got me? Mm -hmm. So now you can go ahead and throw them in there and uh, just uh, uh, put, lay them flat in the flour. And once you get into the flour, uh, just, yeah, you just kind of press them lightly. And then you want to shake off all of that excess. Uh, Don and I were cooking some trout a while back, and we were talking about the fact that this little, no egg, no milk, no nothing on it, this allows the fish to get that nice crusty finish. So, see my skillet's yelling at me here? Is it ready? So, that's right. We'll go right down into it like that, and just kind of move that oil around, and I'm going to yeah. do, do that like this. Now, the, the fish... This, the, the, these little flat fillets of fish cook so fast. You want to retain the moisture inside of the fish. But of course, if you have a thicker piece of redfish or so, you would do the same thing we've just done. You would just kind of have the fire a little bit lower because that fish is a little thicker and you don't want to just sit there and burn it. How can you, know you tell I mean? when this is done? Well, uh, for, first of all, I can tell just by the, 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 the look of the bottom of that skillet. Mm -hmm. You see how it's browning so beautiful in there. That's a hot skillet. Look how thin that is. The Not fish will continue to cook once I take it out of the, out of the heat, right? Uh, and, I, and of course, this is going to have that nice, beautiful coat. Look at that on the bottom. That's what that little flour does for you. you it see doesn't that? really take much. And the heat on the outside of that fish right now is just starting to go up to meet the heat coming up from the bottom. And when I take it out of the skillet, this is going to be cooked perfectly. Uh, it only takes a couple of minutes. People overcook fish too, very which easily. is really yeah, yeah. very easy. So we've seasoned it properly. We've made sure that we went ahead and uh, uh, got coating on each side of flour, shook it off, put it into a really hot pan, and in a couple minutes it's done. So I'm going to just turn the fire off, and, and when we come back, we're going to go ahead and make our little salad dressing. Plate it up side. and Plate make you up. hungry. Yeah. 
Welcome back. We're out here at White Oak Plantation with Chef Jean Fols. A lot of folks love to catch speckled trout, but they tend to be a little simple with it. We've got this pan seared speckled trout here. We're about to plate it up and add some delicious vegetables. And, and I want to encourage everybody, just because we are doing speckled trout, use the fish that you have. I mean, not, you may have to cook it a little longer. The fillet might be a little thicker. I mean, just just make sure that elevate that fish. Take it out of the bread. Take it out of the yellow corn meal in the fryer for a minute. You know? Yeah, a lot of folks yeah. catch. Uh, you know, we can't always be so lucky to catch speckled trout right. and uh, sheephead. We were talking oh, about. Oh, it's a wonderful fish to, for the same process right here. So absolutely, experiment with it. Now we're going to make a little salad because again we're going to elevate this. To, uh, I can even think of a ladies lunch for something like this. It's lighter. It's not going to put you to sleep so, after. Yeah. So let's go ahead. I'm going to season. I do season my greens. Okay. Uh, that's just a little mixture of greens. There. Salt, pepper. You can just kind of stir that around a little bit, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. You can just kind of whack them around, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this vinaigrette. Use either a store-bought vinaigrette. This is a little uh, Creole mustard, a little uh, 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 lemon juice. It's a lemon vinaigrette. Now what we're gonna do is just put that right in the middle of our plate, just right down there in the center, and just let it pile up right there. And what I'm gonna do is take these beets, and I want to show you what happens to the plate. When these beets start to fall on it, once all of these beets fall on it here, it just became fine dining with those beets. Uh, well, what it did, it just started to look like a dish Beautiful. that came out of a restaurant, and all it is a doggone little roasted beets, right? It's That's amazing the color that comes out uh, of them. And look how gorgeous that is. And then, I want you to again just kind of touch that coating right there and see. Now, of course, I would just put one on for an entree like that, but. Of course, we probably have company coming, so, <laughs> if they so, hurry up. <laughs> so we want to do that. And then I'll just put a little parsley on top of it like that. I could even put a little bit of the vinaigrette on top of the fish as a sauce. Simple as that, easily done, elevated simply to a better place on the table. And, and a little stuff. healthier than your fried speckled trout. <laughs> I don't know about that. We can pretty much, go, <laughs> well, yeah, we can kill somebody with this, too. All you got to do is eat about five of those fillets. Not hard to do, huh? <laughs> Not hard at all. All right, we're going to dig into this, and we will be right back. <laughs>